Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the identity operator in the Python. What is the actual identity operator and how this operator is stored in the memory, we will check with the example in this session. What is the function of the identity operator? Basically, this operator makes a comparison between the two objects and checks whether these two objects are the same. Same means like whether these two objects stay on the same memory location. First of all, we discuss what is the object. In Python, all data types are the object because all data type has its own property, methods and functions. Suppose we take the example of the string. So string has its own property and methods like capitalize, center, count and switch. The same way, collection has its own property and methods. So all, almost all data types are the object in the Python. Now, when we talk about the like whether they stay in the same memory location. What does it mean? When we say, well, if the two objects stay on the same memory location, then we can say both objects are the same. So we can understand this one with the, this example. In this example, we have the two person, left side and the right side. And if we check this person, person is also object because uh, all human beings have their own properties, their height, weight, and the functions like the walking, talking, working, these are the functions. So human being also are the object. Now in the first example we can see they have a book and this book is lying on a one place and there is an address or we can say it's a memory reference address. It's the same. So both persons is accessing that book from one place. So now we can say these two objects or these person these two persons are the same. But in the second example, bo both have their own book and they have kept on the different place with the different memory reference. We can check this one hex decimal code. So in this case, we can say the memory location is not the same. So we can say the object are not the same. Both objects are the different from each other. Now we can check this one with the actual data. So first example number one, in the right side, we have three variables A, B and C. In the A, we have the hello and the B, it's the same value, hello and the C, there is an assignment. C equal to A, we are assigning the value of the A to the C. Now we can check the data type and the value of the variables A and B is the same. In this case, this is the beauty of the Python. In other languages, memory location happens in different way. But the beauty of the Python is if the uh, data type and the value is the same, then they share the same memory reference. So in the left side, we can say uh, hello. This is the store in the memory and this is the address of or like we can say ID of this value. Now you can see the arrow A and B they share the same memory location. So in this case, we can say A is, if we apply the operator is, that is a uh, used for comparing the two objects, then the answer is true. And C is A. Because C was the empty and we have assigned all the properties or the value of the A to the C. So C will be the same equal to the A. Now, if we say C is A, then true, and B is C, then the true. So all three variables refer to the same memory reference number, or we can say all three variables share the same memory location. That's why we can say the A, B, C, all objects are the same. And we do it with the using the, this is operator, that is the identity operator. Now, if we check the second example, in the right side, we have the A equal to hello, but in the B, we have the value that is the hello2. We change the value. Now, the data type is the same, but the value is different. So in that case, the Python will create the two memory reference. So in the left side, hello, this is the value and this is the reference number or ID. The ID of the hello2 is a 2. It could be anything. So the memory reference number are the different. Now, if we compare the value like A and B, then this is the A is B, then the answer is uh, false because now they do not share the same memory location. 
the memory location are the different but if we say a is c again a like there is a assignment c to a so we are assigning the again the value and the property of the a to the c it means the c is equal to the a and if we check a is c then that is the true now we check uh, more examples example 3 in the again the right side again we have three variables a and b c this time we are taking the integer type a equal to 10 again the b equal to 10 and then assignment uh, c equal to a so the same thing happens because of the same data type same value it will create single memory uh, location it will allocate the single memory location so the all variables now refer to the the same memory reference say x 0 1 0 1 and the values are 10 10 so it means if we check with the operator that the is identity operator then that a is b true c is a true and b is c true in the next example again we change the value of the b now this time the value is 12 so definitely the python will create the two memory location on one location it will keep the 10 and the another it will keep the 12 but this time the memory location reference number or id would be the different so we can say a and b is not the same if we check a is b then the false but again in case of the assignment c equal to a it means c and a they refer the same memory location or they share the same memory location so if we compare a c then the answer is true now we check one more example example 5 so in this example we are taking the variable collection or list so in the list lst1 we have the elements 10 20 30 and the lst2 again the we have the same element same value 10 20 30 then the third statement we are assigning the lst2 the new uh, list that is the lst3 but now we can say the value is the same the collection is the same but the python again in case of the collection always create the different memory location for the list so lst will have its own memory say in the left side we have this 10 20 30 and this is the memory reference number again for the lst2 this is the memory so in case of the collection always it creates a different memory location for each and every collection so we can say the a and b if we compare with the is operator then both are not the same because both do not share the same memory location but in the third third statement lst3 we are assigning the lst2 now if we compare the lst3 and lst2 then the answer is true now you can see the lst2 and the lst3 they refer the same memory they share the same memory because because of the assignment now how to use the or how to compare the objects in the python so there are two uh, operators that is the id that is the is operator again this is operator used to compare the two object if we they, they stay in the same memory location and then second one then is not that is the it is the opposite of the is then we have the id function so we can check the id when the python create a uh, memory or allocate the memory to the variable then it assign a unique id to that variable then we can find out that id from this function and then hex value also we can check the hex value of that uh, memory number now we test the real data so we have a program again the same program the a three variables with the value hello so a and b have the same value the same data type and there is assignment a to c if we run this code then the print comparison with the is operator then the true and a equal to c then it's true and this is the id of this a and this is the id of the b and this is the id of the memory id c it means these three values or these three id are the same so we can say these three variables share the same memory location 
again we have the hex code of that memory or all uh, hex code are the same now if we change the value say make it 2 obviously data type is the same but the values are different so now a and b is not the same so if we run this code now this is the false the first statement a is b that is the comparison so it is false now the python has created the two memory location for the a and b so id and for a and b this is a different of the memory again the hex code also different but the c is still because we there is assignment a, a uh, c to a there is assignment a to c so a and c is still the same they refer the same memory location so, so this is the you can say this one a4 and this is the c so both hex are the same for the a and c now what happens if we change the data type say if we say 10 then 10 so this time the data type is the integer but the value is the same and this is the case of the same case with the string so if i run this program then true true means a and b the same value same data type so they create uh, the python creates only single memory space allocate a single memory space for this value and both variables it means uh, all three variables refer the same memory location so we can say so all three objects a b c are the same same memory id and the same uh, hex code of the memory now if i change this one say may i make it 12 it could be any value now if i run this one so this is the false a and b now have its own different memory allocation with the different id with the different hex code now if we check the collection lst1 lst2 and then again the assignment lst3 from the lst2 so as i told you in case of the collection even the value are the same the data type are the same but the python creates a different memory allocation so if i check this one here we have the comparison lst is lst2 if i run this program then this is the false lst1 lst2 both have their or its own different memory allocation if you check the id 4528 then 4272 for the lst2 but lst3 it's a empty but this is the assignment assignment from the lst2 lst2 is assigned to the lst3 it means lst3 is the same as the lst2 now they refer the same memory location so for the lst2 we have the 272 and lst3 again we have the same memory id and this is the same hex code this is the hex code for the same lst2 and the lst3 so guys this was all about the identity operator in the python so if you like the video please give your comments in the comment box and like the video subscribe the channel thank you Thanks for watching the video.